All right, guys, welcome to the video for removing the turbo um, on a B7A4 Audi. This is a 2006 2.0 EA113 engine. So we're under the we're under the turbo right now. This is the passenger side. And there's an intercooler connected. This intercooler hose is the first thing that's going to need to come off. I used a seven millimeter socket on this hose clamp up here and I'm going to pull it down. But so this this hose in particular has tons of oil in it all the time on almost everybody's car. So before you take it out, make sure you have an oil pan below it. I just drained mine from the bottom. So uh, mine shouldn't have too much. Nope, doesn't look like it. Once you get that intercooler removed, we're gonna come up here. There's a hose that's on this metal pipe here. It's kind of hard to get to, but there's a spring clamp on this. Um, to get that off, that's this guy here. It was running across like this. Uh, to get that off, I just used some channel locks and our uh, needle nose and just kind of pinched it, pulled it off, and then I'm putting it over here just so it's out of the way. That is a coolant hose. Next, I took off all the bolts for the exhaust manifold. Actually, this is the first thing I did, but um, it doesn't really matter when you do it. Anyway, there's uh, five on the top and I believe like four on the bottom. And so here's a view. That's what it looks like on the bottom. There's two per one of these blocks. Each one of these blocks is two nuts, I believe that goes under on the, the passenger side again. This is under the turbo. Um, there's an oil line we're going to need to take out and that is up here. You can see there are two bolts that I took out already and I'll show you the setup I used. So these are the bolts you have to take out. They're both T30, okay. They have a built-in kind of washer surface to them. Anyway, um, what I used to take it out was a short um, quarter-inch extension and a T30 Torx bit. So now we just go under the car again, and we need to find anything else that's holding it, um, that being it being the turbo, down and, you know, onto the, the car. So there is also this, looks like, uh, I don't know, probably another oil line here, like an oil return line. Um, so if you follow that up, it turns into a pipe, goes up and around, that's it again. And then it bolts right there into the top. So when we go to the top, you can see it again. It's this guy, okay? So we're gonna probably take it off up top. It's a spline bolt and it looks kind of almost like it's stripping out a little bit. Um, if my phone will focus. I don't know if it is or not, but let's find out what size it is. So I've got an M12 triple square bit or spline as I call it. Um, and you can see it goes in there and there's no play. So that's what you want. So we're gonna be using an M12. We're gonna take this out. All right, so for the top, the top bolts, holding this on, this one and the one in the back, I'm using a long 16 millimeter um, socket. And it's taking a little bit, but it's coming out. It's a bit tough, um, but like I said, it's coming out. So I'm just gonna keep going and until that bolt pops out. All right, guys, here I am under the car again. This is the test pipe, comes down, goes to the flex pipe and then continues down the exhaust. Anyway, here's my half, no, 3 8 inch socket wrench, my 3 8 inch wrench on an 18 millimeter socket with a, I think it's a six inch extension. Um, and I got it on that bottom left bolt. What a pain in the ass. You can't reach it from the top or if you can, you'll, you can't you can get it straight on so it'll cross thread it. So I had to get underneath the car. Um, so that's fun. But here I am um, and I am going to be loosening it from down here now. So what I'm doing is I have my left hand on the ratchet from here and my right hand I'm feeding up over the, I guess, control arm thing here. And then through here, this is my arm, onto the socket or onto the ratchet to hold it with this hand and turn it with my left hand, like the, the hand that I'm holding the camera with, you can't really see it, but that's how I'm taking it off. So this sucks. Um, and I will take another video after I have it completely off. Okay, so now the turbo is almost completely loose. There's only one thing remaining, and that is this hose up here, this connection. But you can see it goes up, in, around, and then into that like weird blanket thing. Probably like a heat shield. 
but then it comes up and it ends there. Oh, my camera changed. I think that's a spline. It looks like a triple square spline. I don't know what it is. Probably an M12 as well, but I'm going to try to get that out. I think I might even be able to get that from the top. All right, guys, this is another M12 bolt, uh, as I expected. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. And then the entire turbocharger should be free. We, uh, we might want to disconnect these two electrical connections. This one's the diverter valve. And then uh, I don't even know what that one is. Probably some, that might be, actually be the wastegate control. I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to remove those and label them one and two. So we remember with the new uh, turbocharger, which one is which. So when I cracked it, it started leaking coolant um, out, of, out of it. So I would say, <laughs> I would say when you're removing this bolt here, to uh, have something ready because it's going to start pouring coolant. Um, yeah. All right, so I've labeled these one and two, um, these connectors, one, two. So one is going to be this guy right here. Two, which I wrote three on because I'm stupid as well, um, is going to be the diverter valve. So... I'm going to disconnect these. I just finished draining the coolant into that cooler right there. Okay guys, so here's the old turbo. I'm um, home with the issues and here's the new turbo. You can see it looks a lot better. Hopefully it works a lot better. <clears throat> so I have to transfer all the hoses all over, as you can see. So I'm gonna be working on that. I guess I'll do like a time lapse or whatever. Um, it's gonna be all these like kind of uh, rubber hoses as well as these, I guess these are also rubber actually, but these have like lines in them. Um, so these are like the evap hoses. This is a coolant hose. So I'm just going to transfer all as much as I can over to this turbo. So two things I did off camera, I took off the clamp that was on this and I put it over here. You can see I did it, um, well, it's on the bottom, but it's a 10 millimeter uh, nut holding that down. I just went until the um, the two things touching or the two things, you know, that the bolt goes through touch each other. And I just called that good. It was pretty tight with this thing. So, um, and using it manually, by the way, because this doesn't have much torque. Um, anyway, I just went ahead and took off this rear coolant. Um banjo bolt and that was this guy yeah i haven't even taken it out yet there we go so that's the banjo bolt coolant comes in from there and then gets fed into these holes coming finally coming out of the bottom of the bolt so that was in here now there are two gaskets this one on the top and this one on the bottom and i will find what size i used here in a second but um, there was one on the bottom side and one on the top. So crushed it kind of twice. Uh, and it was tightened a lot. I believe I used, um, does have it on it? Eight millimeter Allen wrench to take it out. So it was cranked down a lot. I actually had to use this on the Allen while like turning this with the Allen, uh, in it to actually even get it out. So very, very, very tight. And I'm going to go put that on that one. So I just pulled them out of this, but they look about the same. And since it's this guy here, that leaves it with 14 by 20 by 1.5. Um, and I'm using two of these. So I'll throw out the other two since, again, they're crush washers. You can see the kind of dent in them from when it got torqued down. You want to use new, new washers every time you get them. Since this is an 8 millimeter Allen, and there's no way you can get an impact on that since there's, you know, the manifold is in the way. Um, you can't use, you know, one of the impact fittings like that. So instead, what I did is I used, you know, because you got to crush it. You got to get a good amount of like, got to get a good amount of torque on this to leverage it down and actually crush those watchers to create the seal. 
what I did, I put a, a T8 Allen in, or, or I guess an eight millimeter Allen. And then since it's eight millimeter and it's a hex, you can just use a socket and an extension like so. Now it's basically its own long wrench. So with that, you can pull it and crank it down pretty much as tight as you can. I don't know. There might be a torque spec, but how the fuck am I? I don't know. You know, like, like I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. So another thing I'm doing here is I'm taking my upgraded Pureberg diverter valve and putting it on the new turbo. So each of these three bolts gets seven Newton meters of torque <clears throat> um, to, to hold it down. So I got new copper um, crush washers on that. I believe that's that's a coolant line. Um, there's two. You need one on each side of the banjo bolt. And then the copper coolant line comes from down here. You got to sneak it up here. Right now, the, turbo, the new turbo is not bolted in yet, so you can move it around. So next, if you follow this oil line up from the oil pan, up, 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 you can see there is right there, uh, center screen, there is a oil return line. There's a new gasket you'll need. I'll throw the part number on the screen. Um, so these are going to get tightened down to nine Newton meters. Although I used a three sixteenths Allen to get these out. And, um, when I put them back in, I just tighten them as much as I could by hand. So this banjo bolt here is coolant. Um, this is going to be 26 Newton meters and you can see it goes through that jacket and then down across and up here. I didn't take that off. So I don't know that one. So now that you're putting the new turbo on, you gotta take the gasket out. You've got a new gasket here. There's the old one. Next, we're gonna just put on these connectors again. That's those two. Finally, the last thing you're gonna do when you're putting the turbo on is obviously you put the filter back on and all that. And then um, these two hoses need to be hose clamped. I didn't fully hose clamp this one, but just move that up onto the plastic. And then uh, when you do this, make sure you put a new gasket in. I haven't yet um, because I just wanted to test see if my car ran properly with my new turbo and it did. Um, but this is what the gasket looks like. And that goes onto that. Um, that's your down pipe, I have a test pipe. But uh, yeah, so make sure those gaskets are in and then uh, all the banjo bolts are torqued down and you should be good. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful and about 2% of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you want to help the channel grow, the absolute best thing you can do is subscribe. In other news, I will put all of the links to the gaskets and any type of replaceable part will be in the description.